let's begin with Peter Paul's using painting Prometheus Bound. The Prometheus Effect, an evolving art style by the artist Juan Gomez, influenced by the works of Rubens and Basquiat. Let's begin with Peter Paul Rubens' painting, Prometheus Bound, completed in 1618 with the aid of Franz Snyder, who painted the eagle. I forget the age, first when my eyes set on this monumental painting. Seven? maybe eight years old, during a class trip to the Philadelphia Museum of Art. That encounter was extraordinary, one of a few in my lifetime to have a profound impact on me. Here's a recent picture of me revisiting that masterpiece at the Philadelphia Museum of Art back in 2012. Also, let's look at the painting by Jean-Michel Basquiat called Untitled Fallen Angel, completed in 1981. This painting represents a cast-out angel forever in prison in the Earth's subterranean depths as punishment. This image, to me, is the modern version of Rubens' painting Prometheus Bound, although both paintings are completely distinct opposites from one another. How do they relate to my studio practice and why? Well, in my early teens, I was classically trained to paint and draw like the old masters before entering college. Peter Paul Rubens, among an array of painters of his era, helped mold my work copying from life, and mimicking the things that looked real to our natural eyes. Also, was trained to work from photographs, which I believe gave me a modern edge without understanding at the time, and for what reason, I don't know. Currently, my work in these past few years have drastically changed. Even my approach to art. One night at work, I was drawing in my book, and a thought occurred to me. Why am I not painting this? The very next day, this is during the period when I was at PAFA getting my master's degree. And the very next day, a painting was produced, which you see here, using only my imagination to completely devoid of any type of reference, any type of reference points. I didn't use a photograph. It's completely from my imagination. This new surface has this interesting set of issues. Quite frankly, I'm not used to dealing with it. That's the canvas. Drawing for more than 30 years tends to do that. By studying the art of Basquiat, it allowed me to let loose of the constricting barriers set upon my art for over two decades, or three. Rubens' realism, on the other hand, still exists in my way of thinking. Sometimes, as hard as I try, I can't seem to shake the traditional training loose while I'm creating art. I wonder why. At this stage of my painting style, being free is important to express without boundaries in order to create art. Yet structure, ever so prevalent, a constantly trained hand still reverts me in a ways of painting that are still constricted and yet structured. A combination of so-called art styles are ever-present in my paintings, like Rubens' narrative below. Prometheus, for instance, is subjected to an endless hell of repeated regeneration and removal of the titan's liver by the eagle, chained on a mountain cliff for eternity. This punishment was given to Prometheus by the Olympian god Zeus over his 
theft of fire to aid humanity in Greek mythology. Why this relentless cycle after years of work, whether in color, black and white, or on paper? What one may say, old habits are difficult to disengage. Can't imagine Rubin's practice plus strict formulas to compose a successful group of paintings or one canvas. Then Basquiat's vigorous hunger to mark, paint, also create images reflecting his everyday surroundings. I love both of these two talented image machines from two different eras. In 2003, I did this first imaginary painting completely done for my imagination. It's one that I have not done in years. This work relates to the violent changes my art has evolved into, like Rubens's Prometheus Bound painting. The removal and the recreation and the never-ending cycle constantly changing in my work and in my mind and everything that I do at that time. These so-called styles span from cubist elements, realist applications, and abstraction, mixed in, mixed in a salad bowl of art created by my eclectic mind. Like jazz improvisation blends many disciplines of mixed styles of music to create a unique sound. My art is that. Painting has become a playing ground of multiple experiments. The Prometheus effect exists in all of my work, like the painting we see here. Drawing at this point is rarely done. Uncomfortable this is for me now, until my hands find its way back to the pencil. Technology is now the new sketchbook. The camera and the internet pictures inhabit my creative juices for right now. Basquiat and Rubens are two artists who work strongly influence my art. The image here, an image created in Photoshop using three pictures. Two images by Basquiat, one by Paige Powell, the photo that she took of him. They were lovers at one point in the uh, probably late 80s at, at some point. I don't know when this photograph was taken, but that's where, I, that's where that image source was taken from. If Basquiat painted Prometheus Bound, it may have looked like this here. To me, my art is always in flux without end or limits. Learning each day how much is not known or even done. A few years ago at the Taller Potriqueño in North Philadelphia, a 20-year survey of my art called Modified Personalities was exhibited. This for me marked an end of drawing, a beginning of painting, more like drawing is on hold for now. For how long, I don't know. Rubens Prometheus Bound painting is forever an influence to my art. I have and will continue to study Jean-Michel Basquiat's work. He did what Picasso and Clay could not do, paint like a child. Jean-Michel Jean Basquiat was a high school dropout, a self-taught genius, Afro-Latino-American painter. Funny, reading about him, self-taught, is rarely, if even mentioned. A so-called graffiti artist turned world-famous painter, one can only wonder. The famous diplomat slash painter, Peter Paul Rubens, a true Renaissance man with national power and influence. The Prometheus effect embodies these two powerhouses of talent and unique voices in our art world. That is the premises of the Prometheus effect. Those two artists, Jean-Michel Basquiat and Peter Paul Rubens, are so much in my mind. I, I remember being a kid, as I stated earlier, looking at that painting. I mean, I, I imagine a, a, a little kid, seven, eight years old, looking up a at a double life-size painting and just seeing the imagination. I, they literally had to take, yank me out of that museum. The teacher had to look for me. And I, was, I came back to that painting. I kept staring at it and staring at it. And this is the premise of this talk. And Jean-Michel Basquiat struck me while I was in my undergraduate um, 
studies at the Pennsylvania Academy of the Fine Arts back in the early 90s, late 80s, early 90s, at first I didn't like his work, but the more I looked at it and the more purity that I saw in his markings, and then I'm thinking of Picasso and Paul Clay, the two very artists that I mentioned before, there was a very, they're both excellent artists, but Basquiat somehow kept the purity of the child in his artwork. Evolution of a style, something that I started in a sketchbook in the 90s that evolved into painting, and it's, until now I'm still painting like that. It's amazing um, what one painting can impact and do to someone's life, like that one painting by Peter Paul Rubens. And then you see this new modern edge, Jean-Michel Basquiat, to actually have, to add another flair and flavor to the work that I do. Though my traditional upbringings um, and traditional training is in my work, but also I have that loose and unflinching expression which is also in the work as well because art is a free expression there is parameters there are ways of learning but there are ways of non-learning okay you have to enjoy what you do because if you don't enjoy what you do what's the point in doing it anyway it's been an absolute pleasure have a wonderful night day whatever you have i love you all your art host, Juan Gomez, from the Famous Art Show.